What's going on, Technology family, and welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. We got a few news uh, to go over, and we got two movie reviews to, to go over today. So, without further ado, let's get in our uh, to a few pieces of news that is just to go over. And the NBA and the N NHL playoffs has officially begun. I'll put the links of both uh, brackets in the comments below. To see uh, which teams uh, had made it to the playoffs. And of course, our Miami Heat and Florida Panthers had made it to the playoffs. So let's hope and pray that we can make it to the uh, at least one of us, or maybe two. The, uh, not counting my hopes up, but um, but let's just hope that we can make it far enough like we did last year to the finals. So uh, let's, just, uh, let's just pray on that. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I'll have the links of both brackets. In the comments below, uh, let me know which teams that you're going for that are in, uh, in the playoffs and who you see is going to take the take the championship home. And and that's all the, the news that, that we have. But um, let's get into our first of two movie reviews today. And uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is Abigail. So Abigail is based on a uh 1936 universal's uh, class of monsters film uh, dracula's daughter and uh, it's like a re-image of that so um and uh allison Wichester, uh plays as the the daughter of cal dracula alongside starring melissa barrera dan stevens Catherine newton will catlin kevin durham uh agus cloud r.i.p and and give you a spoilers so um in this movie, so uh, these all these uh, group of criminals kidnap a ballerina uh, a daughter of a powerful underworld figure. They retreat into a uh, mansion, unaware that they are locked inside with no normal little girl. So everything from top to bottom, I love. Uh, I love this movie. So uh, it was able to to balance with being a fun and funny. Uh, in a horror capacity without being uh, too silly. So they was able to, uh, to balance that. Um, very bloody at times with the practical facts and like body parts flying and a lot more violin. And there was a couple scenes that might turn you, might turn you away from the screen or maybe you have feelings uh, for the pain that the characters that uh, they, they are going through. Um, like I said, the cast was very well balanced within their screen times. And having their uh, at least having a great moment on, on screen, and the MVPs in this movie for me was Alex Witcher, uh, Marissa Brera, Dan Stevens, and Catherine Newton for for me. Um, the movie did move in a very nice pace, very entertaining. Um, the only one negative I would say about this movie is the ending. It had a lot of twists and turns that kind of might went overboard. Like some of it worked, and some of it feel like it was stretching themselves a little too thin. But um, overall, if you've seen the movie uh, Ready or Not, just by the concept of having characters in a mansion and then all the violence and stuff go down, then you will love Abigail. So this is another home run for the radio uh, the silence of, of uh, the directors, and um, even though. We won't see them again uh, directing uh, another screen, which is Screen 7. But hey, at least uh, they will continue to do their, uh, their their own thing. So I'll give this movie uh, a minus. And this is definitely will be in my top 10 best horror movies of 2024. And with that being said, uh, let's go into our next uh, movie review. And that's the Ministry on of ungentlemanly warfare so this is a spy action comedy directed by, uh, by guy guy Ritchie, and this is based on the 2014 book uh churchill secret warriors the explosive true story of the special forces uh Deborah's of world war ii by damien uh, lewis and it does uh portray the heavy fictional version of the operation of a uh, postmaster so um uh, uh, in the movie, a British mi military recruits a small group of highly skilled soldiers 
to strike against the German forces behind the enemy lines during World War II. So, anytime you got an action movie that deals with uh, killing Nazis, I am all for it. So, um, and it had a great uh, symbol cast with uh, Harry Cavill uh, during his post of Superman. So, uh, he is free to, uh, to do everything that he wants. And you can tell by uh, he enjoyed this movie and, and the role he played. Um, also starring uh, Elisa Gonzalez, Alan Richardson, Harry Gosling, and Alice uh, Parisi. So, um, yeah. Uh, from top to bottom, this was a, um, a very entertaining movie. It's, it's kind of crank up a true story into a great uh, action flick. So, uh, yeah. This was another solid entry for, um, for Guy Ritchie. And yeah, I absolutely uh, enjoyed this movie. So, um, um, the only thing negative I would say that it it um it may have its slow moments at times, but uh, like I said, it kind of builds up to what they're going for and what the mission is they're going for too. So, um, yeah, that's only that's the only negative thing I would say. But um, but other than that, I give this movie an A. I definitely uh, enjoyed it. So, um. Yeah, I uh, love Abigail, and I love the uh, the Ministry of Angelic Warfare. So, the great, great movies out there the, this week. So, um, and with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, let me know in the, like I said, let me know in the comments below on who you think is going to win the NBA championship this year, who's going to win the AHL uh, Stanley Cup this year, um, and what are your thoughts on Abigail? And what are your thoughts on Ministry uh, Angelic Warfare? Did you see those movies? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell when new episodes are uploaded and other videos. And of course, if you're li if you're listening to me on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or any other podcast streaming platform, don't forget to follow me there as well. But um, with that being said, this is Trico. And I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.